What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and welcome to Rise of Eros. And straight up, this is an extremely not safe for work H game. Like, dude, they waste no time whatsoever. As soon as I started playing, two minutes in, I'm seeing all kinds of things slanging in my face. Um, but we're going to try our best to kind of skirt around that, shall we? Um, let's start off with some of the heroes here. Now, I saw some people that were a little unhappy with the fact that there are mechs alongside the waifus, but straight up, I know it's not the point of the game, but I do kind of like the mechs in this game as well well um here are some of the waifus i've collected um i do agree with the criticism that there is not nearly as many waifus as there should be in a game like this and it is unreal engine so you are going to have that little uncanny valley effect but um i think the characters are fine and the animations in combat are extremely good so i wouldn't worry about that once you jump into combat here um but here are a few of the characters not bad and we will do a summon session a little bit later on in the video um but once again i don't i'm not mad at these little mech characters at all they're low rarity of course um but dude my emu healer mech how can you be mad at this guy <laughs> How can you be mad at this guy? <laughs> I like it a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and jump on into combat, shall we? So let's get prepared for combat here. You can bring four units to combat. Um, each of these characters has their own set of gear, which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video. And you can also equip a relic. Um, once we do a summon session, those relics will make a lot more sense. Yes, it's gonna be one of those games where you summon for characters as well as relics in the same banner. Um, but here we are in combat. And dude, I gotta say that the Unreal Engine is flexing, y'all. It's a good looking game. And like I said earlier, some of the animations for these attacks, like look at this, I have it on times one speed right now, but really good animations on some of these attacks here. So we'll go ahead and do a little protection up. Um, I like the fact that her protection up also does damage, so you can buff and still do damage, right? So you don't have to pick one. I'm always a big fan of that. Um, here we are in the next wave here. I like my little, my little tank mech here. Um, basically his whole thing is like making other people do attacks. So he just kind of stands there and lets everyone else do the damage, which is actually pretty cool as well. Here's another one of my attacks here. Like really good animations. I like the zoom in effects, really uh, clean graphics, 60 frames per second. Not a bad looking game. I am playing the game on my cell phone as you guys can see here. And if I want, I can turn this bad boy up to times two speed to kind of speed it up. I haven't really used auto too much um, because believe it or not, the game is, is kind of challenging. Um, not in like a, oh my God, this game is hard kind of way, um, but you do need to kind of min-max some of your abilities. Um, you don't want to just burn some of your ultimates on just like fodder or people that only have like two HP left. So it's going to be a game where you actually have to play it like, you know, a semi-challenging turn-based JRPG style game. Dude, look at my emu! <laughs> <laughs> they killed my emu dude <laughs> dude that is messed up <laughs> that is the weakest character i have on my squad right now um but also my healer so i, I kind of needed him <laughs> dude like straight up one shot now if anyone dies you're not going to get a three star ranking so do keep that in mind but yeah, there you go. So there's a nice little preview of what combat looks like. You know, your typical standard turn-based JRPG affair um, with really great graphics. I think some really awesome backgrounds, quite diverse that I've seen thus far. Um, cool characters, great animations. Like this, when it comes to H games, right? And I played a couple in my day, just a couple, not too many, I promise. <laughs> but most of the H games that you see are like idle Huntress level H games. I I'm talking like games that, you know, are old school 2D sprites, a game that looks like it came out in 2004. It's not very often you see a game like this um, with this high quality aesthetic, you know, polygons, textures, like lighting effects reflections like some of the stages here look really impressive um there's one stage i'm not going to be able to show you in this video um but basically there is uh water on the stage and you can see the text of the wall behind the stage in the water like it looks really really good um so shout out to rise of eros for you know taking the 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 h genre which is usually kind of like a genre where it's like come on man these games are booty literally they're straight booty <laughs> and then doing a little bit more than booty you love to see it dude i'm getting stomped here by the way so we got to do some summons here and once again this is what i was telling you guys a little bit earlier um i can probably kind of i can probably beat this stage once i get to about level 13 or so i'm definitely outclasses there at level 15. oh dude you locked down my abilities there okay getting quite a bit more challenging there and that is the gg completely destroyed but we did get to see a new stage and some cool little enemies there i've been really impressed with the enemy variety as well like straight up 
Like, if you didn't tell me this was an H game and you just showed me, like, some trailers of it, I'd be pretty impressed. Um, now, as far as gameplay is concerned, you have your normal campaign. Um, goes all the way to Chapter 6. Um, there is a hard mode difficulty as well. You got your tried and true resource grinds, gold, EXP, sense of seduction, which will unlock um, affection towards your waifus. You can imagine what happens when you max out different affection levels. Um, and different types of little um, specific upgrades, which will allow you to kind of transcend and of all of your characters um you also have these once a day trials here which are going to give you tons of equipment and then lastly you do have the eros challenge which i'm not going to be able to show in this video because you do not unlock this until stage 520 um so that's going to take me quite a bit of time to unlock that i, I might stick around dude you never know so those are all the gameplay modes let's go ahead and do a nice little summon session shall we kind of risque but not too bad i guess um let's go ahead and use some of these tickets that i got um, the game did have a pre-registration. I didn't pre-register for it, but um, I did get the pre-registration rewards, um, which was this nice, nice little 10 pool here. And I always say this, guys, always. And so far, I've been 100% right. The more risque the game, the worse the summon animations. Like, always. Like, straight up. Um, so there goes a dude. Here goes one of the relics right there. More relics there. Tons of relics. I'll take them, but I also kind of want some more waifus there. There goes one of the mechs. Um, we do have a duplicate. That's my first duplicate of Timekeeper there. So we'll check her out. Kisune, that's uh, one of the enemies that just destroyed us in that last fight. Um, so I do have... All right, so let's see. So we just used our tickets. Let's go to the Goddess Summon and actually use our, like, cash shop currency here. Once again, pretty, like, dude, every single time. Just really boring summon animations in these really, like, dude, I'm talking, like, risque. <laughs> Download the game, you'll see. <laughs> and some more relics there. Lots of relics. I think I'm going to start using some of these R relics to kind of uh, power up some of my other good ones. We've got another emu there, another gun. So pretty much a complete wipe there, unfortunately, when it comes to the summons. We got nothing good. No new waifus. All right, so we did get a brand new SR. So I'll go ahead and use this as an example of how you level up in this game. Um, there is EXP juice along with an EXP grind stage. Hit auto select. The game will grab all the juice that you need to level up. Um, I don't really have a lot of gold right now. So level two is as far as we're going to go. As far as gear, I kind of like this system, right? Um, so it's going to be one of those games where you have set bonuses, right? But check out what you can can do here um, so if I go through here and I equip a bunch of defense set right what the game does is that you get a scaling bonus based on how many defensive pieces of gear that you equipped this is all gonna make sense here in a second so I'm just like going crazy right equipping all these defensive sets here there we go, a full set. I got six pieces of defense. And look look at this, look at the set bonus. It's based on the fact that I brought six. So if I drop this down to four, it goes down slightly. If I drop it down to two, it goes down slightly. As long as I have at least two of a set, I can activate at least a small morsel of that defense set or that attack set bonus, which is actually, I think, pretty nice. Now, outside of levels, the other thing that you can level up is gonna be your transcendent level. This is gonna break through your levels here. So you can see right here, my max level is 20. If I get these materials from daily resource grind stages i can move my max level to 20 to 40 etc and it looks like these evolves also use a different type of currency um, but since this is my first duplicate let's take a look at what happens here so you can see i got a duplicate only 50 i need to pull another duplicate of her that'll get her up to sr star one and then of course it goes on and on and on it increases your skill level cap increases your passive stats etc etc but that is it. That is pretty much the game, right? The the normal campaign with all type of H scenes waiting for you, the daily resource grinds, um, the trials to grab armor, and the challenge mode that I do not have unlocked. Uh, I'm going to end the video off running this gold stage because I definitely need some more gold. Um, one negative, probably the biggest negative for me, is the fact that this game does use sweep tickets in a game that you really would like to not have to worry about sweep tickets because, um, unfortunately, you are going to have to kind of rerun a bunch of these stages to get resources because you will routinely kind of run out of exp juice and gold which is fine um but you have to just go back in these stages and auto them because you will run out of sweep tickets pretty much within the first hour unfortunately um but let's check out our new units uh, ability here his animations here he goes basic attack nice little nice little ability there not bad not a waifu, but you know what? It's okay. I'm going to do some basic attacks right now just to kind of stall the fight out just for a, a little longer so I can see another one of his abilities. There you go. 
And then here is the last wave. But there you go, my friends. A nice little look at Rise of Eros. If you have written off most H games, um, because let's be honest, most H games are, are not very good at all. Um, this one isn't terrible, dude. It, it really isn't. It's, it's quite graphic, straight up. It is extremely graphic, um, um, but that's not the game's only gimmick. I think really great graphics, you know, a competent turn-based JRPG, good backgrounds, cool enemies. I, I like the mechs. I might be the only one, but I think the mechs are pretty cool. Um, I think the game is ultimately let down by having like no quality of life. I think that's pretty bad move on them, or, or at least just start giving us like tons of sweep tickets, but I, I argue why I even have soup tickets in the first place, but I digress. I can talk about that forever. But but that is going to do it, my friends. A nice little look at Rise of Eros. My name is FG3000, and dude, I, I might see you later, dude. I'm really kind of curious to see what this Eros challenge is. I saw a cinematic where they're fighting like a big old massive boss, and dude, I want to see a big old massive boss. <laughs> guys, I'm out of here. See you guys in the next video. I'm out.